Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. So here we have a uh, 2004 Kia Spectra. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to change the rotors. We're going to change the brakes because what happened is the uh, the brake pad is rusted into the uh, to the knuckle and it stays applied all the time. So uh, let me show you a couple of things I do to make it a little bit easier, and uh, we'll get started. What I usually do to, to take these screws out here, they're usually pretty tight. Just take a, 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 a punch or any kind of a, a driver and just uh, hit it a good shot. And that, that'll break it loose. And then you can either use a, uh, a screwdriver to remove it or, uh, or any kind of um, impact driver. All right, it comes right out. Repeat that screw because we're going to have to uh, put it back together with that. And then next thing we want to do is we're going to uh, disconnect the uh, the caliper. And the way we're going to do that is in the back of the caliper right here. There's uh, two 14 millimeter screws. We're going to remove. Uh, we're going to remove both of those. And these, we're going to hold on to these because we're going to reuse these also. And then we can pull that caliper out of there. And you can just slowly work it off. Just relocate it for a, for a second. Now we're going to take this, this mounting bracket right here off. What happens is the, uh, the brake pads get rusted in. So they get pretty tight. So it stays applied all the time. So we're going to take that, take that bracket out first. And then we'll, uh, we'll work on it on the bench. And you'll find two 14 millimeter bolts in the back that actually hold the uh, mounting bracket to the car. Again, these screws we're going to remove them, but we're going to we're going to need to reuse them again, so don't throw them away. You need them. And as is the case frequently, the brake pad itself separated right from the metal part of it. They get rusted in right inside here. So we're going to reuse this so you can just bang it right out. It'll come out very, very rusty inside here, but we're going to be replacing it. So it doesn't really matter. Same thing with this one here. Just hit it a few times and she comes right out. And as you can see, the, the slide pins, they slide really well, so we're good with that. But we're going to grease it before we put it back together. A lot of times the rotors get stuck on. We're going to be replacing them, so it doesn't really matter. What I normally do is just hit it a couple of times with a hammer, and it comes right off. Now, these calipers are not able to be pushed in. They have to be rotated in. You see these little uh, little star pieces right here? I'll show you how to do that. You guys use needle nose pliers and they get in here and they rotate it in like this and turn it. But uh, you got to be real careful with that. You don't slip and wind up hurting yourself. But they make a special tool for it. What it is, the special tool is fits right into that groove, and you put it on like this. And you install it, 
into these little notches right here. And then you just turn it in. This is the other way I was telling you about people do it is they, they use needle nose pliers to rotate it in. You can do it, you just have to be real careful with it because it is dangerous. You might stab yourself in the hand and you just turn it all the way until the piston is recessed all the way into the bore. And then you line it up so that the uh, that the grooves are straight up in the center where you're going to reposition it back on there. Now we'll get the uh, caliper out of the way and we're going to start putting it back together. We're going to put the uh, the uh, brake rotor on and we're going to line this hole up with the uh, the hole right here where you have to put the screw in. We just push that on. And you can just screw the screw that holds the rotor onto the hub. And what I do is every every car before you put it back together, you put this this grease on it. You just pull this apart like this. Now you put a little bit of this special silicone grease that comes with the brake pads usually. It'll come usually in a tube like this. So that way everything slides just the way it's supposed to. So grease up everything really well. Put this there. And then what you do is right where the brake pad is going to be uh, touching, you put a good amount of this grease on here. It'll keep it from rusting in the future. But you got to put, put it on like that. All right. Then we can remount the bracket back onto the car itself. And then we saved the bolts when we took it apart. They were the uh, 14 millimeters. We're going to reapply those, tighten them in. Screw them as far as you can in by hand. And then just tighten up the. Once you have both of them caught, then you can tighten it all up. Nice and tight. Okay. Okay, we'll make sure they slide just the way they're supposed to. 
and we can bring our caliper around. Put the caliper in position. And then we're going to catch We're going to catch the other two bolts that we saved from before. That's it, just the way it's supposed to be. Let me just show you one thing real quick. One thing you want to make sure is you want to make sure that these brackets here are in all the way and is not binding up against the uh, this part of the uh, of the caliper right here because that, that can make that stay out just a little bit. And then she'll buy it all tight. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.